Hi, welcome to my video. Um, this video is all about um, how to use um, IP address change software. Now, there's lots of different types of this um, software available now, um, basically allowing you to change your IP address. But before I start, I just want to clear up some confusion some people have about which IP address you're changing. Now, I'm presuming here if you want to change your IP address, you're actually referring to the one that you um, use on the internet. Um, this is the one that gets people banned from forums or blocked from different media sites or uh, firewalls and uh, proxy servers and stuff like that. Um, but you actually have two IP addresses. You've got an internal one, which you have pretty much complete control of, and an external one, which you don't have. Um, here is the internal one. You can see if you go into your network properties and look at your home network, it might be slightly different in different places. Uh, different versions of Windows. This is in Windows 7. Um, and you look on properties of your card and go to properties of uh, Internet Protocol, TCP IP. Um, you'll see here I've got um, some IP address. Um, now here I've got 192.168.1.16. There are actually millions of people all over the world that will have exactly the same IP address. That's because it's an internal one. Um, it only operates on my own little network, so I can change it at will. You know, I can change this to anything I like. Uh, in my particular case here, it's uh, signed by my um, my router, um, and I could change it to dot seventeen, dot eighteen, or even one dot one dot one, whatever. The crucial thing is it make no actual in, uh, difference to my internet surfing or anything, because nobody ever sees that IP address other than me. Okay, um, so you pretty much ignore that. It's it's not really that important. The IP address that is important and affects how you um, communicate online is your external IP address. Now this one is actually assigned by uh, your ISP, um, and it'll usually be assigned to your um, whatever you use to connect, whether it be a modem or. Uh, a modem router or something like that. So whatever you connect to your um, ISP with, that will be assigned an internet uh, address. Um, I will go quickly into my, I'm gonna blank this out so you can't get into it, but here is my router. I've got a Net, Netgear WDN 4500. And if I go into the internet settings, here, there'll be an internet IP address, and it says get dynamically from ISP. Um, that is assigned when I connect to my ISP. I'm with BT in the UK, so I've got a UK IP address assigned to me with, with my subscription, basically. This is what controls what I can access. Um, this address marks me down my location and that I'm in the UK. So let me show you how this affects it. Um, as I said, I'm in the UK and I've got an external IP address there. If I go to some site called Hulu, for instance, could be loads of others, um, and try and watch something. Um, let me just go to uh, uh, show. On. Ba -ba -ba -ba, family guy. And let me watch it. This will happen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, sorry, blah, 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 you can only be streamed within the United States. Um, so I'm never able to watch those. There's loads of other US sites I won't be able to watch because my external IP address is a British one, okay? I also can't go into um, there's a site called uh, M6 Replay, which is a, um, a French media site, for instance. I can't go in there because... Again, I've got a UK IP address and it'll block me. Sorry, my French isn't very good, but you should see a message. Here, this is basically, I'm not in France and you can only watch it if you're in France. Um, all over the internet, you'll also get it in things like YouTube. Have you ever gone to a YouTube video? You get blocked um, because you're not in a certain country. Okay, it's a bit of a pain. But let's see how we can change it. The point of this video was to show you some IP address change software, and this is what I use. This one's called Identity Cloaker, and I've been using this for 
many years. It was one of the first available and um, it's had heavy investment into it. So it's got lots and lots of fast servers. The way it works, you don't actually change your IP address. What you do is you connect to one of the Identity Cloaker servers and um, instead it, it basically hides your IP address and you're completely anonymous on the internet. So for instance, if I want to have a US IP address for a while, scroll down this list, <coughs> excuse me, and pick an American server. There's hundreds, there's loads of different countries here, but I look for a, a US server uh, on the West Coast. There we go, and we're connected. And I now have a different IP address. I've had to blank these out for security reasons, but basically now I have got an American IP address. My British one is hidden. I'm routing everything through an Identicloaker server. This is why you need fast servers because otherwise you're gonna slow your connection down. So if I minimize this now and I can go to, whoops, go to Hulu again, uh, this time when I connect, it'll actually look at my IP address, say, ah, he's in America. Let me go to the same thing just to show you. Where was I? Uh, ba -ba TV popular. Uh, family Guy, and last time when I tried to watch, I got blocked. Um, here, I'll just mute it so you can see it. Um, it'll play through no problem, and I can use Hulu just like Amer any American user. It's also, I mean, if you're outside the UK and you want to watch one of the British TV stations, um, you'd get blocked outside the UK, but you just pop into an identical cloaker and um, change to a British IP address or a French for M6 Replay and so on. Um, there are other um, products around there, um, but there's some pretty badly written ones as well. Um, there are a few pretty decent ones as well though, but um, the one I use is identical cloaker. I can recommend it because it's fast, easy to use and very stable. Um, so, that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's explained a little bit about um, IP address changing software. Okay, thank you for watching.